James Lundis. James, the wine guy, a beautiful Merlot head. This is from Cornerstone Cellars from Oakville Station. Stay tuned for this review. Lots of both worlds here with Cornerstone Cellars. That is the Willamette Valley selection as well as the Napa Valley portfolio. Fantastic wines and uh, really surprised here is a beautiful Merlot. Not that I should be surprised that they produce a beautiful wine, but that I think Merlot is just really coming to its own. And I've said so in many uh, a video review on Merlot. And I think Merlot got a bad rap and because of a movie. I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to go there again. Uh, but ultimately, it's just because uh, I don't want to keep repeating it again and again. It becomes a cliche. But uh, for me, I think uh, truly well-made Merlot is not going to be that absolutely fruit-forward and fruit-only wine. That is uh, black, red fruits or whatever fruit characteristics it might have. Instead, I really think getting the uh, Bordeaux signature, really that herbaceous quality. And this wine really exhibits that. So it's very exciting. So here we go. Uh, close up of this bottle. So Napa Valley Merlot 2012 Vintage Oakville Station. Uh, of course, I'm a big fan of this cool label program, Cornerstone Cellars, and you'll see 14.5% ABV. And as you know from previous reviews, it's only a one piece or there's no uh, back panel. So I think this is a fantastic wine. Again, getting back to what I think Merlot is, it's uh, marrying together that herbaceous quality. Uh, not overwhelmingly so. It is not Cabernet Franc, it is Merlot. So I would say many Napa Valley Cabernets are really, you know, giving some weaving uh, additional varieties, that is from uh, say Merlot, or maybe it's Malbec, or maybe it is Cabernet Franc, or maybe it is Petit Verdot. But one of these varieties is really essential. In fact, sometimes a producer might use all five varieties, and some people might say, well, there's a six, which is Carmenere. Really not common in Bordeaux, not common in the United States. So I'm not gonna even bring that in the conversation, but uh, it's not that it's not an important grape, or not something that I enjoy, I certainly do. But uh, for me, I think it's really getting back to basics, getting back to the original, intent, I think, in my opinion, of what Merlot is and the vision, the Bordeaux vision, including that vision moving forward to the new world in terms of the Bordeaux varieties and how they come together to create beautiful wines. First scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So in this I'm getting notes of uh, fresh geraniums, violets, black red cherries, baking spices, and deciduous forests. Next is the flavor characterization, then the point score. Notes on this include dark red cherry, blackberry, hint of black plum, fresh herbs, cardamom, violets, and white pepper. This wine is a 9.3 out of my 10.0 scale. Think of that as 93 points out of 100 points. So do me a favor, give a like to this video. The like button's right down there, and also uh, questions and comments, listen down there below as well. So do me another favor, share this video, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned for more wine reviews to come from all around the planet. So let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. And stay tuned for many more wine reviews to come. And it's a pleasure that you stop by. I really do appreciate your support. Thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Salud.